we've been married a little over 50 years and uh, probably been tithing for 48, 49 of those years. We, we uh, did not start tithing when we first got married, although I came from a tithing family. Uh, not very long after we were married, and we wasn't making a lot of money, and we always had problems stretching the paycheck to buy groceries and whatever else we needed. And it didn't ever, didn't ever seem to go quite far enough uh, until one day uh, Jerry told me that we we're doing this all backwards. Uh, that we need to not wait and see if there's anything left to give to God, but we, we need to pay Him first. I was working at the church as church secretary and I noticed as the people gave their offering and I, I, was, I had to put everything together. It was just a small church. And seeing people who were committed to uh, paying at the tithe really made an impression on me. So, yeah, yeah. We've seen lots of instances where the need was there and we didn't know how we'd meet it, but it was always there. God just has been so good. I started to say, I never was very good at math. I had problems with that in school. And, 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 and the tithing experience didn't help me any with my math problems because I never understood completely how 90% could go further than 100%. 100% the always come up a little short and it seemed like the 90% we came out a whole lot better. Uh, the main thing is not the amount that you give, but the commitment that you make and keep. I'm not sure how it works other than it's the work of God. And when we did that, everything fell into place. We usually had more left over than we did when we just gave a little bit at a time. I think it all began with tithing early in our marriage. It, uh, we've just been blessed. And, and all of our needs have always been met. We never have, as you can tell, I've never gone hungry. <laughs> It's just, life sure is a lot better if we give it to God like he told us to. And it's uh, not our money, it's God's money.